Starting with version 9.6, PostgreSQL supports parallel queries. In this section, we'll take a look at how parallelism works and what can be done to speed up things. As an example, we'll continue to use the pgbench database. Explain select count all from pgbench accounts. Let's take a look at the execution plan of the query. First, PostgreSQL performs a parallel sequential scan. This implies that PostgreSQL will use more than one CPU to process the table and will create partial aggregates. The job of the gather node is to collect the data and pass it on to the parent node. The gather node is therefore the end of parallelism. It is important to mention that currently parallelism is never nested. There can never be a gather node inside another gather node. In my example, PostgreSQL has decided to use two worker processes. But why has PostgreSQL decided on only using two nodes? The main configuration variable to handle parallelism is max parallel workers per gather. This variable limits the number of worker processes allowed. However, for a small table, PostgreSQL will never use parallelism. The size of the table has to be at least 8 MB as defined by the following configuration setting. Even more, the size, of, the size of the table has to triple in order for PostgreSQL to add one more worker process. In other words, to get 3 additional workers, you would need at least 27 times as much data. This rule is applied because usually, if the size of your database goes up, 100 times, the storage system is usually not 100 faster. The number of useful core is therefore somewhat limited. To check the size of the table, we can run backslash d+. So, if we want to increase the number of parallel workers, the first thing we can do is to increase the max parallel workers per gather parameter. In this case, we'll run using only 5 workers, based on the size of the table. However, there are cases in which you want the number of cores used for a certain table to be a lot higher. Imagine a database of 1 terabyte and a single user. This single user could use up all CPU without harming anyone else. To set the number of CPU explicitly, alter table can be used to overrule what was discussed. However, max parallel workers per gather will still serve as the upper limit. Alter table PG bench set parallel workers to 9. Explain analyze count all from pgbench accounts. As you can see, only 7 cores were launched, although 9 processes were planned. What is the reason? In this example, two more variables comes into play. Max worker processes and max parallel workers. The first parameter tells PostgreSQL how many worker processes are available overall. However, the max parallel workers parameter says how many workers are available only for parallel queries. Why are there two parameters? Backend processes are not used only by the parallel query workers. They can also be used for other purposes and therefore developers have decided to use two parameters. If you found this video helpful, you could check the whole course on Udemy using the link in the description. By using that link, you'll get a 60% discount. I hope you'll get on board to find more tips like this to optimize your PostgreSQL like a pro.